Hey, what's up guys? James here. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly identify a possible change in direction inside of a market or inside of a cryptocurrency coin. Um, if you're into trading and even investing, this is this is very uh, this would be very beneficial for you, even if you're just kind of looking for good places to enter into investing and then hold for a while. This indicator is going to be really cool for you. So the way that I do this is using an indicator called the Stochastic RSI. RSI stands for Relative Strength Index. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull this up on the screen, show you a couple examples. And so down here at the very bottom, this is the, sto the Stochastic RSI. There's also another indicator, which is just the RSI, the Relative Strength Index. The Stock RSI is a little bit more sensitive, um, so I use, I use that one. And um, if you want to learn about that, you can go over to investopedia.com and at the top, just type in stochastic RSI or you can just type in RSI. I would actually recommend studying both of those because they're, they're correlated. Okay. So if you want to learn exactly what it is, how it works, go there. I'm not going to go through all the details of that. What I use the RSI for, and I'm going to show you how to pull it up as well. If you don't have an account at tradingview.com, I recommend going to tradingview. There might be a link around this video. You can click and go get a free account um, but once you sign up for trading view you can go to indicators at the top and you can just type in RSI and then look for stochastic RSI that's the one that I use um, because I've I, I've used it for a while and it's worked really well for me and again what this does is this helps you identify oversold and overbought conditions inside of a market so what that means is if a coin is oversold right that means there's been so many so much selling and so many sellers selling off that it, it's almost exhausted like there's a good chance that the sellers are exhausted and there can't be that much selling left right uh, and then also vice versa this indicator can show you when a market is overbought so it's going to indicate uh, a, a probable change in direction because there's been too many buyers in the market and the market may not be able to sustain more buying right uh, so this indicator is down here at the bottom and uh, if you double click on it it'll actually pull up like in a, a bigger picture view so so here's how this works okay in a nutshell again I'm not gonna go into all the details of this but when the RSI when these two lines are, are down here at the bottom that is signicating uh, uh, it is indicating that the coin is oversold which means there's been so much selling happening there's a prop there's a possible change in direction that's coming that when these lines okay when these this blue and orange lines start to curl and go back upwards and let me kind of say what i mean see how this came down and then it this blue line crossed up above this orange line and then both of them started to curl up and go upwards that means that once this curl happened and it started going up that there was new momentum and strength coming into that coin or into that market right so that means that more buyers would be stepping in and causing the price to change momentum all right so this is a momentum indicator it does not indicate how much the price will change okay it's just indicating that there's a possible change in momentum all right and then and then when the price up gets up here okay when the price is up here like this th and it and it and it gets up here to the top that is indicating an overbought condition where um you know what there's a very good chance the price is going to change momentum and start going down okay that's what i use this indicator for so let's look at this in kind of a real world like you know real um examples okay so this is bitcoin versus the dollar on bitstamp on the bitstamp chart and you can see that um the rsi when we hit the top all-time high on the rsi was about right here okay if I pull this up, let's see. All right, if I pull this up, now, th th again, this is why I don't use the RSI alone, the stock, the stock RSI alone for my trading strategy. I really use this indicator as a point of agreement or a point of confluence to verify that what I'm getting into would be a good trade or not, okay? So I'm not relying on this alone, but see how here, um, the the rsi the stochastic rsi it was gaining strength there was new strength coming into the market but we did see this cross this blue line crossed and it went back down below the orange line and both lines started to go down okay so if we would have noticed that right you would have noticed that 
um, right around here at the top, it started to change momentum, and the momentum changed and started going down. Now, again, you can't use the, the stochastic RSI to determine how much the price is going to drop, but you can use it to see when there is a possible change in direction. But then see what happened. Watch what happened. Right uh, here. Um, then what happened is we came all the way down here to the bottom. It got really, really oversold. And then there was a cross that happened, right? And the price started to go back up. And then the same thing happened. It crossed, went back down, went back up. Now here's, here's what I really wanted to show you. Here's a really good example. See how we hit another high right here? And then down here in the RSI, we had uh, the, R the stochastic RSI got to the top. And it indicated that um, that Bitcoin was very overbought and that there was a possible change of direction. And as soon as that blue line crossed beneath that orange line, as soon as these two lines started going down, right, it kind of curled and then it started going down. That was indicating a possible change in direction. And you can see ex that's exactly what happened. All right. So uh, I just wanted to show you this. It's a really cool indicator. It's something that we use all the time in our trading strategy. Again, I don't rely on this only, but this is something that's really, really cool that you can use if you're wanting to get in and out of markets quickly. Um, also, here's another cool thing, right? This is the daily, the daily chart for Bitcoin. Um, and obviously, we have all this panic selling that's been happening, right? So you got panic sell it, panic selling, panic selling, panic selling. And we're really getting into panic over the last few days, although we did just have a pretty pretty nice bounce uh, right there. But you can see that even in all this panic selling, what's the RSI doing? The stochastic RSI is on the floor. Like this is almost, now it can go a little bit lower, but it is almost as low as it can go. Like it's on the floor. That means Bitcoin is very, very, very oversold. Okay. This thing has to turn around at some point. I'm not saying that, that this will tell you exactly how low, you know, Bitcoin is going to go. But what I'm saying is for me, I don't ever want to sell. I'd never want to sell off when the stochastic RSI is on the floor like this, okay? That's why uh, that's why I took a lot of profits on Bitcoin on the way up, and I'm still I'm still holding some long term. And there's some things that um, that you know that I'm looking at in the markets. And if you want to get out of a coin, out of a market, or or you know you can use this indicator to determine um, when would be a good time to do that. So like right now, when people are panic selling. I am not selling anything. This is like the worst possible time to be selling because the RSI is on the floor, right? It's oversold. At some point, this thing has to curl and start to come back up, okay? Now, once the daily and then even the three-day, if I go to the three-day chart, it's the same thing on the three-day. The three-day stock RSI is even lower. Like, it is on the floor, all right? Even if I wanted to get out of this market completely, I'm not going to do it when the stock RSI is on the floor. I'm going to wait for this thing to curl, come around for new strength to come in, and then for it to get somewhere in this zone, okay? At least to the top half, at least where it gets to the above the halfway point um, on the stochastic RSI. Then I will look at... Uh, different scenarios, but I'm not going to do it when it's completely oversold. That's why you have to know when to look at these markets as a buyer and when to look at them as a seller. Okay. So again, I know that um, a lot of people are panicking, 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 but if you know how to do a little bit of technical analysis, kind of look at these charts the right way, this is one of the worst times to sell. This is actually the times that we're buying. Okay. Brings up another reason you should always have a uh, I mean, you can make your own decision, but it's a good idea to have a good percentage of your portfolio in cash at all times, whether it's 10%, 20%, some people do 30%. Uh, it's a really good idea because what happens is it gives you a sense of empowerment that when the markets drop like this and there's massive dips, that, that you're not panicking. Why? Because you have cash. You can go in and buy everybody else's fear, everybody else's panic. So uh, anyways, I hope this video has helped you. Again, investopedia.com is a really good place to go and learn more about these indicators. And um, and again, hopefully this has helped you. If you want more information about our community, what we're doing, uh, and, and really learning how to do this stuff, just leave a comment below. Click the link around this video somewhere, and uh, we will speak to you soon. Have a good day. Peace.